tastes like a Jolly Rancher. Bubby's has been serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner in Tribeca since 1990, and we're here to see what they're all about. Tastes like a Jolly Ranger. Really good. Let's go through the appetizers and main dishes that we sampled at Bubby's. First, there were the deviled eggs that were heavily whipped and mustard based. We enjoyed these and I could see ordering them again despite the fact that I like them a little less whipped in the yolk and having a mayonnaise base. Next, we're onto the main dishes we ordered, starting with the mac and cheese. I don't know about you, but I prefer my noodles to be al dente, whereas the noodles in this mac and cheese were really mushy. But hey, that's just one guy's opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Now, for the burger and fries, otherwise known as the Double Buddy 2.0, these were both a hit and a miss. The fries were fine, I mean, nothing special, but I don't think they're meant to be the star here. The burger was quite good. It was very juicy and well cooked. Uh, it was probably the best of the main dishes we had. Although I enjoyed the burger, the price of $26 was a little steep for what I was served. So I probably wouldn't order it again just for the price alone. But we're not done yet. Now it's time for dessert. That good, huh? <laughs> the peanut butter chocolate pie might as well be called peanut butter pie. It was like a spoonful of creamy peanut butter with very little hint of any chocolate. So you have to really enjoy eating peanut butter here. Pie, pie, and more pie was the word of the day. Get a little bit cream on it. As for the sour cherry pie, I really wanted to like this. I mean, I love a good cherry pie, but sadly it wasn't meant to be. The crust was tough and chewy which really distracted from any enjoyment I could have had from the cherry filling. But all is not lost. The key lime pie with the graham cracker crust was delicious. Make sure to pick up a slice next time you're in Tribeca. Before we go to the next restaurant, I wanna make a quick stop by the Blue Note. Does anybody else here enjoy live jazz? The Blue Note in Greenwich Village has been serving up some of the best jazz since 1981, but don't take my word for it. Take a listen here to the Dirty Dozen Brass Band. I miss those days. You see, I used to actually play jazz trombone myself, but I was also having such a good time in the moment that I barely remember to record anything, which is probably why that's the only solo performance I captured on video. Not the greatest for a travel channel, huh? You know, forgetting to record stuff. Speaking of not forgetting stuff, remember to hit like and subscribe and to ring the bell so you're notified of all future videos. Now, how about we go check out this rooftop cantina?
If you're looking for an Instagram-worthy Mexican restaurant, then you should check out Cantina Rooftop in Hell's Kitchen. With views of the city from the open-air seating, Cantina Rooftop set the vibe with loud music and large crowds. On the surface, it was impressive, but how did everything taste? <laughs> Admittedly, I might be the wrong person for the drink options here. I mean, if you love margaritas, they have something for you. Becca loved her drink. The two I got, eh, not so much. Uh, I didn't actually even finish them, but that's not all we ordered. While the tacos blew me away, the chocolate lava cake seemed to focus more on the gimmick of the little skull shape versus having a really good flavor. But that wasn't the only dessert we decided to try. Let's have one more before signing off. We were getting tired and brought the Rainbow Taquitos back to the hotel room to eat. So Rainbow Taquitos in bed. Kind of tart. It's weird because I mean it says rainbow taquito. Mm -hmm. It's really like more like a rainbow taco mm -hmm. with a really kind of mushy shell. Mm -hmm. But the what was that? There was the raspberry one. That's pretty good. So this is a mango one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, that one's good. That one's very good. I like the mango so far. You said this one's passion fruit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ah. That one's woo, a little weird. Not bad, just kind of hit you a little. Oh, that's kind of tart. <laughs> tart. This one is <laughs> pistachio. Oh. I didn't like that one. No. Of course, I mean, I'm not a big pistachio person, but just no. All right, this one's an Oreo one. <clears throat> Oh, it's not bad. I'm pretty good. I think this one is blackberry. <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's pretty good. Mango one was the best, followed closely by the Oreo. And then that one. Then the raspberry. And then the pistachio and passion fruit. I don't need that crap. <laughs> <laughs> What's this eating it with a fork? <laughs> Yeah, but that whole thing. Now? That's what she said. Yeah. Smush it. You gotta smush it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's a party stupid. Bitch.